It is a beautiful day today. I mean, look at it, 79 degrees and it feels awesome. Beautiful East Tennessee day. All right, so I'm excited today. I'm on my way to Bootlegger Harley Davidson again. I got a phone call from my friend Tony at Bootlegger and he says the new Lowrider S is in. I'm so excited. I haven't ridden the Lowrider S ever, uh, not even the old Lowrider S. And I've always heard good things about the old one and everyone loves this new one. Today I'm going to go down there and take a ride on the new Lowrider S. And of course I'm going to bring you guys along so you're going to see my first impression on the new Harley Davidson Lowrider S. I am so excited about this motorcycle because usually when I do these demos or test rides, I'm always riding a backer. I like the way the Lowrider S looked when it was a Dyna, and this new one looks really nice. Now, before I even get down there, I will say one thing. A lot of the soft tails come with 114s. A lot of them come with 114s. Not all of them, but most of them now come with 114s. And the Lowrider S, when it was a twin cam, when they had 103s, the Lowrider S was a 110. So I don't understand that part of it, why they didn't make it uh, uh, a 117 or something like that. But it still has a lot of nice features that most of the soft tails don't have, like the inverted front forks. So we're gonna go down there and take a look at it and see if it is everything that everyone said it is. So I'm really excited. So we're about three miles down the road from Bootlegger. All right, I'll see you then. Ben, you watch the channel all the time. That is the truck stop across the street that I'm talking about. So you could uh, bring your big rig, park over there, come over here to Bootlegger. All right, so we're here. So let's go inside and see where Tony is. What you up to? You gonna ride it today? It's in gray. Barracuda silver. Bar Barracuda silver. Look at that thing. Man, that's a nice bike. He's gonna pull it out in the parking lot for me, and uh, I'm gonna take it for a test ride. Man, what do you think about that Barracuda Silver Lowrider S? It looks, it looks, it looks really nice. Um, let's get a closer look at it. Let me show you everything. 114 motor the wrinkled finish that, that looks nice black exhaust the bronze wheels solo seat here I like that air cleaner there and let's look at the uh, inverted forks and this one has inverted forks with the disc brakes a little fairing here on the front of it you also you still have the wrinkled finish there man I tell you this is a nice bike great looking bike your clear brake light and you also have your analog gauges I like your black gas cap and there's your one key and key fob. This key locks your forks. Yeah, right there. All right, so now let me get on it and take it for a test ride. Um, well, guys, we ran into a little problem here. I came down to test ride this bike. Very excited. Couldn't wait to get on it. Let, let me show you the problem. This is the problem. So 
well you can see, I can't fit on the motorcycle. It has mid controls. If it had forward controls, then I would be able to fit a little bit better. But so I'm, I'm a little disappointed, to be honest with you. I'm used to being somewhat uncomfortable on anything. Being, if you want to know how tall I am, I'm six foot five. And it's still a good looking bike. But I can't ride it. It looks great, it has the 114. It's a good looking motorcycle. And if I was around 6'1", I'd definitely try this bike. But being 6'5", is not the one for me. My legs are so far above the tank. It's about being able to actually control the motorcycle. My leg was in such a position that it would have been very hard to change gears and to use the brakes. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now. This is how I would be on this motorcycle, right here. My legs are so, so far above this tank. And I don't, I'm, I'm not going to test ride it. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. It's an awesome looking motorcycle. I would, I would go as far as to say if you were 6.3 and above, that this may not be the motorcycle for you. So, we didn't get to do the test ride on the Lowrider S today. Sorry about that. And yes, I'm disappointed. I did manage to test ride another motorcycle. Check out that video. It won't be on this video. I'm going to put it on another video. It's a beautiful road glide, aka the other bike, as I call it. So, check out that video and uh, I'll put in the link up here or right there. It'll be on one or the other side. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day.